Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about, full assassin cross guide for Ragnarok Origin Global Edition. Why did I highlight Ragnarok Origin Global Edition? Because there are a lot version of Row Origin on the internet now. Many of the content creators outside shared their experiences from Korea servers, please take it with a grain of salt. Because most of the info they share is not working in global servers. Rue Global Monster has higher stats, which will affect the meta and job balance. So here, my info is based on Taiwan servers, which use Rue 2.0 system from the start, just like global servers. Now I will explain, newbie to veteran knowledge of Assassin Cross, Soul Breaker, and Agility Critical Build included skill build, tips with explanation. First, in the early game, get 2 pieces dagger and double attack. Stats go all agility, this will let you grind faster. Pick small size mod because of weapon size penalty, for maximum DPS. Also, always purchase elemental converter via trade, using elemental advantage can let your grinding more effectively. Until you are level 40, change job to assassin. You get new DPS skill, red cut, spam this skill together with normal attack. You should be having SP Regan issue soon, go life skill, cooking, steam crab nipper. Synth into 2 stars. This will save a lot of blue pot for you. After level 50, use agility critical build dagger in the early game. Until you are level 70, change job to assassin cross. And the real fun has begun. Level 70 meta weapon for soul breaker build, you need both of them. At least refine plus 10 each of them. And try to make them refine plus 15 before level 80 if possible. To unleash their full potential. If you only can make one piece's dagger to plus 15, then choose Lunar Dagger first. It gives you an extra 300% magic attack, which total of 600% magic attack bonus at plus 15. Having both dagger at plus 15, you will get 0.7 seconds per soul breaker. 0.7 seconds also is the skill animation frame, meaning you can path Soul Breaker be non-stop. Soul Breaker also ignores 20% physical and magic defense, and use both physical and magic attack attributes to boost damage. Every 10 INT increases 2% bonus damage. Also, it ignores size penalty. And the elemental can be converted. Look how overpowered is this skill off. Ignore defense is very important in Root Global, because it affects the DPS by a lot. Unlike Korea server, their mob looks like paper to the global server. Ignore defense is not important at Korea. So the main stats priority to increase for Assassin are Stats point build for Soul Breaker, main INT, sub SER. INT is more important, since magic attack gives a better multiplier in Soul Breaker. is no needed, because mob in Ragnarok Origin has extremely low fleet level. Soul Breaker DMG can be increased with physical attack and magic attack, physical and magic damage, since most of the gear gives physical and magic stats together, so Assassin always gets double boost. 
Also, all the DMG increase card will give extra physical and magic damage when upgrading, so famous cards such as Minotaur and Skeleton Worker need to cheer up if possible. Also, each medal gives physical and magic attack bonus together. Example. Wizard only gets 1% magic attack, but Sync benefits from both, so is a total of 2% attack. Assassin so overpower. Skill point allocation, in the early game, max, double attack, for farming. After second job assassin, max, dual wield mastery, then, red cut, red cut will be the main DPS skill until you LV70 change job to third job. After third job assassin cross at level 7, max, soul breaker, lock on, enchant deadly poison. Left 10 pines can be put in, poison react. Or, hiding research, at second job, venom knife, at third job. Both are PvP skill. Ignore defense passive skill allows you to deal high damage without having a ton of gold feather. That's why assassin is good at late game. Equipment guide. Focus on making Lunar Dagger to plus 15, then Moonlight Dagger to plus 15. The best accessory card is, Greatest General, since it gives physical and magic attack at the same time. Since you wield 2 daggers, you can use 4 cards. So buying 4 pieces DMG percent card of each type is kinda costly at the early game, but is easy in the late game. Best pet will be Sohi in early game which give lot of attack speed and life drain, at late game after getting plus 15 weapon and soul breaker. You are more overpowered than any pet. So owl which gives you range damage percent will be better. Both combat power is similar, but assassin soul breaker is overpowered at pvp and pve. Core of Soul Breaker is, Soul Breaker becomes instant cast, and extra damage increases via INT. And the total damage increase is 40% core. Also, the core making poison plus 22% damage to 4 elemental armor is also good, saving time to think about which converter to use. Also, if you like PvP, Getting Smoky Card and Harong is the must. Harong gives you sight skill to detect hidden. While Smoky gives you one more hiding skill. Do not stack with Assassin hiding skill, meaning triple hiding. Combo with hiding research can deal bonus damage. For agility critical build. Your meta weapons only unlock after level 80, in the early game, use Sandstorm and Refined Dagger till then. In Ragnarok Origin, Assassin Double Attack can deal critical damage of 130%, which also can be increased with critical damage percent. This is also the reason why no guitar build, explain later. But please note that critical damage in Ragnarok Origin, 
did not ignore defense. It only ignores flee and deal 150% base damage, which can be increased via critical damage percent. Stats point build for agility critical, first go full agility and few luck. Luck is just to ensure you can get critical hit often in the early stage. After you got gold core, after shock, which gives you 40 critical every 3 seconds. You can attack 5 times per second with 500% attack speed. This means you have 100% bonus critical uptime. So you can remove the luck stats, and add them all into SDR. Equipment focus with attack speed and survivability. Melee DPS with low HP as a paper cannon, needs a lot of damage reduction gear to avoid dying. Unlike Soul Breaker Dagger, Agility Critical build no need plus 15 weapons to make it overpowered, just get higher fine as possible. The reason that Katar is no good, it was because, you can slot 4 cards if you use Dagger, Double Attack Type Mora Enchantment double attack type refined bonus. You can quickly swap build between AGLP critical and soul breaker build, after level 90 oracle dungeon was released. The new equipment allows you quick swap meta weapons. Also with a special attribute, Deadly Physical, and Magic, which increase 10% final damage. For Dual Dagger Assassin, you can get 20% final damage increase. ご視聴ありがとうございます。いいねをクリック、動画をシェアする、よろしくお願いします。